This is the exact process I've used to write over a thousand emails and make over a million dollars by doing it. And today I'm gonna to reveal that entire process by writing a live email that I'd sell to a client. I've used this process when I worked with some of the biggest brands in the world as a copywriter, so I guarantee you'll get results with it if you use it right. So now that I've shown you I'm a big shot, I wanna get straight into the value here. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start nice and easy. I'm gonna use a fitness coaching service as our example client, just so we have something to sort of visualize. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in fat loss and see who comes up. All right, so first result, Larry Doyle coaching. All right, so Larry Doyle is gonna be our example. He obviously has some sort of coaching program that helps people with fat loss. Now, the first thing I wanna do is basically figure out like, does Larry specifically work with any type of person or does he work with anyone who wants to lose fat? So if he only works with like women or like men or older working professionals or whoever it is, we wanna figure that out. Now it seems like Larry just works with anyone who needs to lose fat, which is absolutely fine. I wanna dial in on one type of person here because I think it's gonna be a better way to demonstrate how to write an actual email. So I'm just gonna focus on like young men who wanna lose fat. Okay, so I've opened up a Google document for our practice email and I've actually answered some quick questions here, which are questions you're gonna have to answer whenever you decide to work with someone. So firstly, who is this email for? I'm gonna write it for young guys who want to lose fat. So probably people who are like 16 to 25 and they wanna lose a bit of body fat. And how am I gonna get them there? So what am I selling? I am selling a fitness program, so it's like one-to-one -one coaching, that's 600 pounds for 12 weeks. So I know how much it is, I know how long it lasts, and I know what it is. And finally, what link am I sending people to on this email? So I'm not just gonna send them straight to buy the 600 pounds, it's just not how it works. You wanna get people to book a call with Larry, because Larry will then close them on that call on the 600 pound service. Okay, so the first part of our process is to do our research. So we obviously know a basic bit about who we're working with and I've made up some main details that'll give us some structure, but I wanna do more research now on the type of person I'm going to be selling this to. Okay, so this is a really powerful tool called Ancava and I always show it on my channel as a way to research for your potential clients. I'll show you how to use this tool later on in the video to make 10K a month as a copywriter, but right now I just need to do some basic research. So what you do, you basically go through here and I just wanna type in fat loss. So Ancava is gonna do its work, it's gonna pull up all these different like communities full of people who talk about fat loss and related topics to fat loss. So now I wanna look through and find one that's kinda of related to, I basically wanna find a community where people who are like young guys talk about losing fat. Okay, so I've chosen this one called Lose It, which I assume obviously is just a fat loss sort of community. And this is pretty perfect because we can see stories of people who are in the current pain point of our customer. So people who want to lose fat and they will tell us problems that they're having. So these are little nuggets of information that we can include in our email that we know that our customers will relate to. So I've just seen some of the recommendations down here. Small dick problems. Nah. Okay, so the first post that we see here. I'm embarrassed to go to the gym because of how little work I do and how out of shape I am. But if I don't go there, it'll never change. I don't know how to break this cycle. Any advice? Okay, so this is literally a post that someone has written with the problems that they have. So they want to go to the gym, but they just are too nervous to go there because they're out of shape and they don't want to get judged. Okay, so I'm gonna document some of the research that I'm doing here and put it down on a sheet so that later we can come back and pull some of these little nuggets of information out and we can use them in our email. Okay, so I'm just reading through the comments. This, this type of stuff is literally where you make money. It's when you're reading comments of some old Reddit post that like barely anybody has used. This is where the sauce is. Okay, so I've just got a really good idea for this email and this came from doing like two seconds of research. So the idea is we basically make our subject line like a quote, like I wanna go to the gym, but I'm afraid I'm too fat. Whenever somebody reads that, it's in quotation marks and they're like, oh my God, that's actually something I relate to. They click the email. So this could be a subject line. Like this could literally be a subject line right here because it obviously, 
attacks a fear and it relates to people and it's just an interesting one it's like this could actually be like a youtube title on, on a youtube video as well and it would probably get a lot of views because it's a relatable thing for fat people and i can tell you because i used to be really out of shape like two years ago and i had this exact fear i was like oh man i'm gonna be so out of shape people are gonna be looking at me everyone else is gonna be in great shape but like nobody cares but if this is a legitimate fear of your target customer, then you should definitely use it if you can help them with that problem. Okay, so I'm gonna go on this subreddit and just sort of search for the biggest and most popular posts in the last month. Actually, why don't I just search all time? Because if it's the most popular, a lot of people are related to that title, and so we could use it and it could get us a really good open rate on our email. Okay, so this is one that I haven't even properly read yet, but it's just given me another idea. So apparently my husband has a new girlfriend. So I'm thinking from not even reading this, this might be related to I'm out of shape and my husband left me because I'm out of shape and now he has a new girlfriend and she's in shape. And this is obviously causing them insecurities and problems, which is terrible, but this is something that people might relate to. And if we can help them solve that problem of being fat, then we can you know, solve this problem for them. So I'm just gonna write here, husband got a new girlfriend. Actually, if we're gonna target this one for young guys, let's just change this slightly because my wife got a new boyfriend. Because then we can like sort of relate it to guys instead of relate it to girls. Okay, so new ID required, reason weight loss. Okay, so this is a great headline. Like, oh, this is actually seems to be a result. Like somebody, I think someone has basically lost a lot of weight and so they need to get a new license because they've lost so much weight and they're unrecognizable, which is amazing. That's actually a cool one as well. So that's sort of like a positive one. That's something slightly different. So this might be a decent headline. I'm gonna copy and paste it in anyway in case. Okay, so this is one that's legitimately like a pain point. Wife asked me to stop being on top as I was too heavy. So this guy obviously in his romantic life is not able to do all the things that he wants to do because he's, he's too fat. So it's literally causing problems in his life and if we could help someone solve that. So this might be again something that people can relate to. So wife asked me to stop being on top as I was too heavy. So now that we've done our research, I kind of want to come up with an angle now for this email. So we're targeting young men and we've got some of our research here. So I'm just going to kind of look through these and think which is the most powerful and interesting subject line or idea that we can use. So this is a positive one, but I don't think it's going to be as strong as having a negative one because basically you're not going to be able to push enough of the pain point in. You could probably change this to girlfriend if it's young men instead of wife and my wife got a new boyfriend. That one's pretty strong, to be honest. My ex-girlfriend got a new boyfriend. I wanna to go to the gym, but I think I'll get judged for being fat. So this is a decent one, but this one's a really strong one because you're basically using love and romance and someone's deep connection with their partner as like that's, that's a much more powerful pain point than just feeling a little bit afraid of judgment, right? Because this one, it's like, imagine you lost your girlfriend because you're fat. Like you're going to want to really run away from that pain point. Like whenever I got in the best shape of my life, it was after a breakup because I was like, all right, I need to go out and find someone new. So I need to get in better shape because if I continue the way I'm going, I'm not gonna get a new partner. And so I think this one is really strong and this is the angle I kinda wanna go for here. Now we're gonna use this sort of research. I'm gonna come up with three different subject lines for this one. Now let's see. I think the quote is really, really good because you can kind of tell a story with it and it just, it just doesn't even sound salesy because you're literally just quoting something. So she broke up with me because I was overweight. Let's think. Hmm. Okay, this is another one. This is really deep shit, right? I'm gonna try and not laugh at this shit because it's honestly like, it is people's problems and it's not that funny. I know it can seem a little bit funny if, you know, like you're like, oh, this is, you know, you're literally like using this to, I suppose, like sell a fat loss thing, but this is obviously like people's actual problems and we wanna sell something that'll help these people get better. Even though these customers aren't real in our heads, 
We want to help them get better. If I were to choose one, two, or three, I mean, you can choose in your own head right now. You can pause this or whatever. Just tell me which one you think is the best. I am probably going to go for number one because there is a fear of missing out, right? So there's the fact that she's your ex. So what happened to cause the breakup? Maybe it was your being overweight. And she got a new boyfriend, so it's like the fear of loss, and it's like the fear of missing out, like, oh my God, she's moved on from me because it was out of, out of shape. I really need, this needs to be the catalyst that drives me to sort of losing weight. So that's a really, really strong motivator, right? It's like a age old quote, people join the gym because they've had a breakup, and I can relate to that as well. And so this is a really strong subject line that we can use. So for the body, I think I'm just going to start with something. I'm not going to even say like, hey, first name or anything like that, because you can start obviously by like saying like, hey, Matthew or whatever at the start. But I just want to jump straight into the story here. So I'm going to write on behalf of this guy, Larry. So let's just start here. So I was reading a Facebook post last night by a young man who lives in my local area. So we're just like coming up with a story. The stories don't have to be like real. Like you're literally creating a story here. It's copy. That's what you're doing. Your job is to create emotion and drive a sale. So you can obviously make it real. Like this isn't like we're exaggerating this. We literally found this from a real community. So it's just about changing it to make it more relatable to the person. He'd recently been through a breakup and was having a rough time. I actually knew this guy growing up and he was never in overly bad shape. But throughout college, he started to drink a lot more and indulge in comfort eating leading to him putting on a fair bit of weight. Okay, so funny note in the middle of this. This is actually kind of relatable to me. I'm kind of writing this from experience. Like, I was never in bad shape. And then when I went to uni, I was drinking, I was eating, I was building my businesses. And I basically just ate so much shitty food and didn't work out. And I got in really bad shape. So I'm kind of writing this from experience. And if you can find something that you can write from experience on, like if you overcame a challenge or if there's a problem you have in your life and you kind of understand it inside and out, that's a really strong way to write emails because you're going to actually understand the problem and like who better to to write a relatable email than the, a person who's relating to it as they write it. So yeah, let's get back to it. I noticed from interactions with him that he was starting to lose confidence over time. He became more shy and introverted as he got more overweight. So I'm just kind of like telling the story, hooking them in, sort of exaggerating what's happening, exaggerating the pain points. So like, I could just tell you the way I just told you that story. Uh, but like, I basically just said like, when I grew up, me, this is me just telling my own story. I was never in bad shape, right? I always played sports. I wasn't fat. And then when I went to uni for a couple of years and I was also working on my business and a few other things were going on and I was basically getting really, really out of shape. And so I've just told you that story in like a very condensed version, but I could tell you it in a very emotional way where I'm just like, yeah, like this really, really traumatic thing happened in my personal life and I went through this breakup and, you know, this happened and this happened and every single day I'd get up and just get fatter and fatter and my mom just, she just thought like I was never going to get better and all this shit. I could go into all these emotional pain points about it, but I've just summarized that to you. But the point of writing an email and the point of trying to drive someone to take an action with copywriting is to draw out that emotion and sell them the solution because they have a problem that you can help with. It seems a little bit manipulative if you're just sort of of trying to use their problems against them, but you're using their problems in a way that you can actually solve. As long as you're not selling some absolute bullshit fat loss pill here and you're selling something that you believe in, then there's a perfectly good way to use copy. Okay, so let's keep going. 
Let's just talk about this guy as if like he's actually a client of this guy. This guy posts in my coaching group the following. So my ex-girlfriend got a new boyfriend. I'm just making up this story right now. Right? This is an example piece of copy as well. So like if you're working with this guy, you actually need to find like a post that's that's real because I'm just making this up because I want to show you this for a demonstration. Okay, so right here, we've just shown like a student result. We probably put that in italics and we've pretty much done our body. A system that we've used here is called problem agitate and solution, right? And so we're about to give them the solution, but so far we've created a problem. So it's in the subject line, my ex-girlfriend got a new boyfriend. And then we agitate the solution, the, the problem by saying, you know, I've gotten really bad shape, all of this stuff. And now we're going to pitch the solution. So that was the post from an amazing young man who transformed his life in 12 weeks with me. If you've suffered from something similar and are tired of not feeling confident when you go to the bar or speak to a woman, it's a totally natural feeling. Uh, let's just say the young guy is called Nick. Stories like Nick's serve as a reminder that you have the power to con control a situation like this and honestly turn your life around. I want to show you something else cool. So I've just realized this is 600 pound for 12 weeks. So I'm going to go and calculate like how much 600 is in 12 weeks or how many days are in 12 weeks. Okay, so that's 84 days and let's now do 600 divided by 84. Okay, so 600 divided by 84 is seven pounds. So seven per day. So I'm going to do something called amortizing the price. Instead of having the price for the entire 12 weeks, you tell them what that price looks like on a day-to-day -day basis because it's more understandable for a human to see how much it costs them per day. And if it's a smaller number, it's a little bit more appealing than the big number because humans aren't very good at like dealing with numbers and shit. So we're just going to amortize that. So for the price of just seven per day or two cups of coffee, you can have an enormous impact on your confidence, fitness, happiness. And then we put the link. So we just literally do like link. I'm just gonna, I usually put it in twice because it just makes it slightly easier to click. It's just probably like a quirk of mine. If you ever read any of my emails, I put the link twice. I just usually like to end it with it, whatever the name of the client is or if it's my name or whatever. So now we've done our second last step, which is our CTA. We need to move on to our very last step, which is quite fun. And the very last step is you pretty much just leave this email for 30, 60 minutes, even a day, and you come back to it later and see if you can trim any fat. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the shop and come back, and by the time I come back, I'll have had a little bit of time away from this so I can kinda of come back with a fresh set of eyes and have a look at the email and see if there's anything we can take out that makes it a little bit shorter. Okay, so. Let's have a look at this email. Now I look back at it again, I still think this subject line is really strong. I think there may be some fat that I can trim here because I think I wanna get into the post straight away. So this stuff could probably go, to be honest. Leading him to put on a fair bit. Yeah, so this stuff actually doesn't even need to be in here, to be honest. Like I know we're agitating the pain, but I think the pain point is agitated. So you could remove that and you're still agitating the pain point because you're saying this, and so as you can see, I've just cut out like half of that stuff that didn't really need to be there. And stories like his, yeah, so we just changed that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this is a fairly strong, strong little email that we could sell to a potential client. Now, I remember earlier I used that research tool to basically write this whole email. I used it and I found stories straight away that allowed me to come up with angles and hooks. Well, in this video on screen, I'm going to show you where to get that tool, how to use it and how to make 10k a month with it as a copywriter.